The bottom line is that the Cowboys win because of Dak Prescott, not just with Dak Prescott. Uh, last year, they're the number one offense in all of football. The previous year, when they didn't have Dak for 11 games, they're ranked 24th in the league. So, yes, there is a little similarity between Dak and Tony Romo. Tony Romo, 2-6 and six in the playoffs. Dak right now, as you saw on the screen earlier, 1-3 and three in the playoffs. So, until he starts having success in the playoffs, you're going to continue to hear these type of opinionated wild opinions about him but I think Dak has an opportunity having a full uh, offseason of being healthy to go out there this year and take the Cowboys farther than they've ever been and actually get that bark mark off his back. Mike not only do you, there, there were those numbers and then there were some stories that numbers don't always tell and you were you and I were talking about this earlier this morning, that that part of it is also very significant for Dak. Yeah, it's compelling to be candid because with all the noise that goes on between McCarthy and the ownership, he tamps down noise. He's the epitome, Greeny, of a leader. He brings out the best in everybody around him. And imagine if he was one of these quarterbacks that had social media proclivities and was tweeting all the time. It would be even harder to win there. So what Dak does is he's exactly what Coach Parcells talked about, a battlefield commander. It's always his fault. He's giving praise to everybody else. That's what you need from your quarterback. And this year, Greeny specifically, they're losing about 40% of their production between Cooper, Cedric Wilson, Michael Gallup coming off of an injury. The definition of greatness is make those around you better, and that's exactly what Dak Prescott does. Yeah, look, I, I think it is reasonable, Diane, as I come to you here. It, it, it's certainly fair to point out the things he hasn't done. Those, those, those are questions yeah. until they are answered. But he's still a very young player who has accomplished a lot to this stage in his career. Because he wears that star on his helmet, he gets so much more. It's, the attention is magnified to a degree that, you know, that comes with the territory, the good and the bad. I, I have extremely high yeah. hopes and expectations for him this year. Diana, yeah. and you spoke to him. What does he expect? Yeah, Robert may be swimming in the East River, but it sounds like Bart Scott is actually <laughs> drinking the East River at this point with some of the points he's making about Dak, right? So, you know, I, I talked to Dak about this, and, and, and he, you know, Look, we, we, I think everyone at this table here can agree that, that he's a leader. He's, he's mature beyond his years, and he's been like this uh, his entire NFL career, right? He's just always said and done the right thing. And I thought it was a pretty vulnerable moment when he shared with me how difficult last offseason was. It was the first time I really heard him open up about how much mental space, how much he was focused on rehabbing, right? He was coming off that injury. So if you're focused on recovery – it's hard to use your time also working on the position of quarterback. So he has spent this entire offseason feeling healthy. In fact, he said he is in the best shape of his life. His head coach, Mike McCarthy, says they are hoping to use him more in the run game because he's already been impressed with his mobility right now, and it's only July. I, I think that's a big part of it. And, and RG3, just a quick thought on that. The, the addition which I, I think he was hesitant to do last year because he was coming off of the injury, and I suppose that's understandable. And then he hurt the calf as the year was going on. But he runs with the football as well as almost any other quarterback in the NFL, and that's an element of his game we didn't see much of last year, RG3. Do you expect to see a lot of it this year? Yeah, I do expect to see a lot of it, uh, along with what we've all talked about over the offseason, featuring Tony Pollard and Ezekiel Elliott, giving CeeDee Lamb an opportunity to be a true number one wide receiver. Dak is going to be more mobile this year. That's just the fact of the matter. It's usually that second year after you have a significant injury where you kind of feel more like yourself, and I think that is an added element to that Cowboys offense that can take them even further. And yeah, I know they were ranked number one last season, but they kind of fell off later in the year, so now having a fully healthy healthy Dak with a fully healthy offseason and of course having all the body work you can possibly imagine in the offseason as Diana talked about Dak Prescott is going to come ready to show guys like Bart Scott that they should never doubt him yeah I, I think he has a chance my, my projection of him is that he's gonna have a very big season for whatever that's worth let's see what he's able to do thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to ESPN plus